It's the Daily 304's presentation of famous people, places, and events that shaped West Virginia. Welcome to the History Project. Today we take a look at the Niagara Movement at Harper's Ferry. After the failed promise of reconstruction, author and intellectual W.E.B. Du Bois allied with fellow Harvard graduate William Monroe Trotter and other African American leaders to form a movement fighting for black equality. In 1905, the men organized an event in Fort Erie, Ontario, the Canadian terminus of the Underground Railroad on the Niagara River. Using the river's swift currents for a metaphor, they called their group the Niagara Movement. The Niagara Movement's first meeting in the United States was in 1906, held in a place with a different symbolism, Harper's Ferry. The West Virginia town where John Brown famously rebelled against the vile practice of slavery in 1859. The group met at the iconic store College, an African-American school where Frederick Douglass famously proclaimed Harper's Ferry the place where the Civil War started. It was here that the Niagara Movement voted to include women in their membership as they conducted the business of reaching the eyes and ears of the American people. They also celebrated the memory of John Brown as they entertained speeches about the abolitionist and paid a special visit to John Brown's fort, the Armory's fire engine house, where Brown made his final stand. Du Bois concluded the event with a passionate speech, properly declaring, The battle we wage is not for ourselves alone, but for all true Americans. The Niagara Movement's meeting at Harper's Ferry was considered a triumph by all involved and enabled the group to endeavor until it was transformed into the NAACP, which over a century later is still giving voice to the cause of equality for all people, for all true Americans.